If you want cheap games, Xbox Live and BSN codes, check out G2A in the description down below. Use code ZERO at checkout for discount. So what is going on guys, welcome to another Garden Warfare 2 video, today I'm bringing you some gameplay of the brand new Toxic Citron that we are going to be getting in the Trouble in Zombopolis Part 1 DLC, hopefully coming at the end of the month. Now this is the first gameplay that we have ever seen of this Toxic Citron and it was shown to us on the live from PopCap the other day. Now I was going to do a video on it yesterday, something came up and I wasn't able to make the video but we have the Toxic Citron and first off let us take a look at how this character looks. He's kind of got like a shield kind of thing protecting him. Of course he gives off radiation and toxicness so this is going to prevent him from being toxified I guess maybe but I just love how this character just in general looks. He's got slime that comes out of the back of his kind of suit. I'm, I'm going to call it a suit. He's got some green slime that's kind of seeping out of the back. That looks absolutely amazing because if you didn't know Toxic Citron is in fact a lime. So I'm pretty excited to play as this character. Now his weapon is called the Lima Slimer which I think is a brilliant name. He's toxic, he's slimy, Lima Slimer is the perfect name for this weapon. Now he has 20 bullets and at first when I saw some kind of a, an image before this live stream happened, I saw the number 20 rather than seeing like the infinity logo that you would get if Citron had a beam and I saw this and I was like oh no it's going to be a single shot like the Electro Citron and I loved the beam that you could possibly have for the Citron character class and it was just a little bit of a shame when I first saw that because I thought no it's not a beam it's gonna be a single shot weapon but that is not the case I'm happy to say that all you need to do is you can hold the trigger down and it will fire very similar to I guess the easiest way to explain it is maybe the um, maybe the perk ranger the perk ranger you hold it down and it's not fully automatic like very fast it's more duh, 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 duh. that is what the toxic citron does the only difference is that the perk ranger isn't exactly a toxic variant he's very similar to the alien flower whereas it leaves like a toxic fume on the floor and if the plants are in that they will get damaged this is actually a toxic variant so they will get poisoned they will toxify other zombies that are next to it and that is what can make this toxic citron very powerful i think gary did mention it does have a little bit of splash damage as well so if you do hit the ground it still could toxify the zombies but this is very good to actually have for herbal assault maps especially if the zombies are defending the garden or the graveyard you can come in here as a toxic citron kind of fire it at the zombies and then you're going to be able to toxify multiple zombies and take them out now the gameplay we are seeing is private matches so of course it's not going to be exactly the same as what it would be on uh, on some multiplayer but it does also include the new patch updates as well so if you do notice Citron getting out of his ball that little bit sooner or being able to fire sooner that is because we do have the patch update already brought into this gameplay now I just absolutely love Toxic Citron hopefully you guys will enjoy it as well but this is the first official gameplay that we have seen of Toxic Citron he's an automatic weaponed character very similar to the Park Rangers rate of fire he's got 20 bullets he's going to be able to get some upgrades he has 200 health as well and this character looks absolutely insane but there we go guys there is some gameplay of the toxic citron that i wanted to show to you all just in case you missed the live stream on friday i am going to do a video as well talking about the different sections of zombopolis which is the map that we are playing on as well so i'm super excited to show you some more gameplay of zombopolis including the end game at the end we don't get a lot of information about it but we do see a slight glimpse of what the end game will be but there we go guys let me know what you think about this character in the comment section down below and hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next one.